In a remote corner of the Appalachian Mountains, where the forest was thick with ancient trees and the sky was often shrouded in mist, lay a small, secluded town named Whispering Pines. The town had a reputation for being a place of strange occurrences and eerie folklore, and it was surrounded by a dense, dark forest known as the Whispering Woods. It was here, among the ancient trees and winding trails, that the most chilling tale of all would unfold. For generations, the townsfolk had whispered about the Whispering Woods. Stories of people vanishing without a trace, strange lights flickering in the depths of the forest, and eerie whispers that seemed to echo through the trees had been passed down from one generation to the next. But as with all small towns, people grew complacent, and the legends became little more than campfire tales. That was until one fateful autumn when a series of mysterious disappearances shook the town to its core. The first to vanish was Old Man Higgins, an eccentric hermit who lived on the outskirts of Whispering Pines. His ramshackle cabin was found abandoned, with no sign of struggle or forced entry. Next was Sarah Matthews, a young woman known for her adventurous spirit. She had gone hiking in the Whispering Woods, and her friends waited at the trailhead for her return. But Sarah never emerged from the forest. The disappearances continued, each one more unsettling than the last. Families were torn apart, and fear settled over the town like a heavy fog. The local authorities were baffled, unable to find any clues or leads that would explain the vanishing of their loved ones. Amidst the fear and uncertainty, a group of friends decided to investigate the whispering woods themselves. Mark, a passionate paranormal investigator, led the group. He was joined by his girlfriend, Emily, a skeptic who believed there must be a rational explanation, Sarah, Emily's adventurous sister, who had an insatiable curiosity, and Thomas, Mark's childhood friend, who had a deep connection to the woods. Armed with cameras, flashlights, and their determination, they entered the forest. The woods seemed different that day, a heavy silence hung in the air, broken only by the occasional rustling of leaves and the distant call of a lonely bird. As they ventured deeper into the whispering woods, they came upon an ancient stone circle hidden among the trees. The stones were covered in moss, and their placement suggested a forgotten ritual site. Emily dismissed it as superstition, but Sarah couldn't resist the urge to step inside. The moment her foot touched the circle, a strange sensation washed over her. Whispers filled her ears, whispers that seemed to emanate from the very stones themselves. Sarah's eyes widened, and she turned to her friends, her face pale. They're calling to me, she said, her voice trembling. Mark, camera in hand, approached the circle. We need to document this, he said. But before he could take a step, the ground beneath him gave way, and he tumbled into a hidden pit. Emily screamed as he disappeared from sight. Desperate to save Mark, the group rallied together. Sarah, still within the stone circle, felt an overwhelming urge to step out. As she did, the whispers ceased, and the earth became solid once more. They peered into the pit Mark had fallen into, but it was too deep to see the bottom. Emily was determined to save her boyfriend and began descending with the help of a rope they had brought. Thomas, too, joined the effort. As they descended into the darkness, they discovered a vast underground chamber. Illuminated by their flashlights, it revealed an astonishing sight, a colossal, ancient tree with gnarled roots that reached into the depths of the chamber. The tree exuded an otherworldly presence, and its bark seemed to ripple with life. At the base of the tree, Mark lay unconscious, but his pulse was strong. However, they realized they were not alone. A spectral figure, resembling a guardian of the forest, emerged from the shadows. Its eyes glowed with an eerie light, 
and its voice resonated within their minds. You have entered the realm of the whispering woods, it intoned. To save your friend, you must undertake a journey. Only then can you leave this place. The figure explained that the whispering woods were not just a forest but a sentient entity with its own rules and mysteries. Mark had trespassed into a part of the forest known as the Heartwood, and the tree before them was its guardian. The guardian of the Heartwood revealed that to save Mark, they would have to undertake three trials, each designed to test their courage, determination, and respect for the forest. Only those who passed the trials would be allowed to leave the Whispering Woods. The first trial was the Trial of Courage. They were led into a dark, labyrinthine part of the forest, where shadows seemed to move on their own. The whispers grew louder, taunting them with their fears and insecurities. Emily and Thomas were separated from Sarah, who was confronted by her deepest fears and regrets. She had to find the strength to confront her past mistakes and face her fears head-on. The second trial was the trial of determination. They found themselves in a dense thicket of thorns, where progress was slow and painful. The Guardian challenged their determination to save Mark, testing their willingness to endure hardship and persevere. The third trial was the trial of respect. They were led to a serene glade, where they encountered a majestic stag, a spirit of the forest. They had to approach the stag with reverence and respect, proving their understanding of the delicate balance between nature and humanity. As they completed each trial, they felt a connection to the forest deepening, as if the whispering woods were testing not just their mettle but their worthiness to leave its confines. After passing all three trials, they were led back to the underground chamber, where Mark had begun to stir. The guardian of the heartwood spoke once more, its voice softer this time. You have proven yourselves, it said. You may leave the whispering woods, but remember this, these woods are ancient and powerful. They have watched over this land for centuries, and they will not tolerate trespassers. Respect them, and they will protect you. Disregard them, and they will exact a price. With those words, the guardian vanished into the shadows, leaving the group to make their way back to the surface. As they emerged from the whispering woods, they found themselves changed by the experience. They had glimpsed the mysterious heart of the forest and emerged with a newfound respect for the ancient entity that dwelled within it. Word of their journey spread throughout whispering pines, and the disappearances in the town ceased. The Whispering Woods had chosen to reveal its secrets to those who had earned its respect, and the town's legends took on a new depth of meaning. The group of friends would forever carry the memory of their harrowing journey into the Whispering Woods, a place where the line between folklore and reality blurred, and where the true power of nature was revealed.